What's going on guys, the one and only here, and today we're going to take a quick look at a product that I've been using for years now and is quite honestly one of my favorite Apple Watch accessories. I'm talking about Apple's first party magnetic charging dock. This sucker retails for $79, not cheap by any means, but despite its high price tag, this is one of very few Apple products I can fully give a 10 out of 10 recommendation for. It's just such an elegant way to charge your Apple Watch while also adding extra protection so that your Apple Watch doesn't scrape against the table or surface while being hooked up to your charging puck. Let's take a closer look though, as is customary on my channel, and begin first with a quick unboxing and then take a closer look at why I think this is a great optional addition to your Apple Watch setup. You ready? Let's roll this intro. So, very basic packaging. You get the square white Apple box that is just big enough to cover the circumference of our frisbee looking charging dock. Seriously, I sent a picture of this charging dock to my little brother and he replied saying, Apple made a frisbee now? Goddamn, what's next? Apple toothpaste? But anyway, we have an image of our charging dock on the front with not much going on on the top, bottom, and sides. And on the back, it shows you the different orientations you can charge the watch. There's two. You can prop it up and charge it in nightstand mode or just lay it flat. But depending on your band, you may not be able to charge it laying down and maybe forced to charge in nightstand mode. A little more on that later. But we have no pull tab to assist, so just find whatever is your go-to cutting tool, remove the plastic film, open up the box, and there it is. Front and center is the charging dock itself, but we'll move that onto the side to see what else we'll find inside. Remove the plastic holder that contained your dock and you'll find a lightning to USB cable, but it's not your standard lightning cable. This is an extra long 2 meter cable, presumably so you have a wider array of places you can place this dock to recharge your device. And lastly, we have our literature packet that no one reads but includes your product and warranty information guide, as well as a quick start guide that explains how to use the dock, but it's all pretty self-explanatory. You will notice you have no charging brick, something Apple is apparently making a thing in 2020 all in the name of helping the environment. When really, I think Apple is just finessing and trying to now force us to cop 5 watt charging bricks separately for $20. The Apple tax, man, I swear. But in Apple's eyes, you should already have a wall brick because you obviously must have an Apple Watch, and if you have an Apple Watch, then you probably should also have an iPhone, which did come with a wall brick. I just think for $79, the least Apple could have done was add that wall brick, but whatever. Okay, so now taking a closer look at the design, and it really is truly unique. This design both looks elegant and futuristic and is unlike any design I've ever seen for an Apple Watch charger. You'll notice the outer portion of our disc is this soft white, soft to the touch material that aids in protecting your Apple Watch while it's being charged on its side. This is especially important for Apple Watch users who picked up a stainless steel watch. Those micro abrasions and scratches are no joke. It's just so easy to scratch up the stainless steel watch, but at least this charging dock will keep your Apple Watch protected the entire time it's charging. The soft white material has a texture similar to Apple silicone cases. That's probably the best way I can put it. It's actually pretty similar to the silicone cases like those found for the iPhones and the iPads. As a matter of fact, I just reviewed the new colors for the iPad smart cover cases, and that texture is basically what this charging dock feels like. And along the bottom of the dock, we have this nice and soft microfiber material that again is very similar to the microfiber material found on the inside of the iPad smart covers. You'll then notice the metal accented ring found at the center of our dock. It uses the same inductive charging connector that comes with with your Apple Watch. It's very similar to the stainless steel charging puck that comes with a stainless steel or addition Apple Watch, only difference is that we have a chromed polished finish versus a brushed finish. I love the design because this integrated charging puck has this articulating hinge that allows the watch to either be laid on its side, thus automatically activating nightstand mode so that you're ready to use your Apple Watch as your alarm clock or lay it flat to charge. But as I mentioned earlier, certain bands won't work when being laid flat. In particular, most of the loop style bands will have to be laid sideways in nightstand mode because the band itself gets in the way of charging. So basically, the solo loop, braided solo, milanese loops, and sport loops must all either be charged in nightstand mode or simply remove the bands and just charge the actual Apple Watch. I mean, it all really boils down to preference. 
When looking at our Apple Frisbee from the side, we can see both materials are pinched together, creating the seam here and at the very back is a port for the lightning connector. The lightning connector also follows the same design language since it also has a chrome ring around it, just like the chromed metal on the back of the integrated charging puck. A lightning connector must be inserted, otherwise the accessory has no internal battery that can charge it on its own. It's probably why Apple gave us an extra long cable so that you're able to put this dock in a centralized location like by your bedside or maybe on your workstation. Basically, the biggest feature of this dock is obviously to charge but also to protect your watch while charging. As you can see, the entire surface of the charging dock is lifted so that your watch is nowhere near the table or whatever surface you have this placed on. The magnetic puck ensures your Apple Watch remains in place and is cushioned by that soft, silicone feeling material. The design is absolutely spectacular and I just love having this little guy in nightstand mode. Right before bed, I'll set my alarm on both my phone and Apple Watch, and if I need to check the time in the middle of the night, all I have to do is tap literally anywhere on the watch, and it wakes up with the current time and goes back to sleep automatically. In the end though, it's pretty pricey and hard to justify it when your regular charger that came in the box does the job just fine for most people. Functionally, this accessory and the charging puck that came in the box serve the same purpose. They both recharge your Apple Watch, but the dock does it in a more sophisticated fashion while also protecting your watch from scratches while charging. But $79 is a bit too high of an asking price in my opinion. I think this accessory would be better priced around $39 to be honest. After all, it is just a charger, but I mean, come on, it's Apple we're talking about, right? So while you do pay the Apple tax, I think it's worth it for me. It's an extremely convenient way to charge my watch without having to find my charging puck who are very prone to fraying and falling apart, especially the plastic pucks that come with the non-stainless steel models. I like to just have it on my workstation and quickly recharge up, say while I'm scripting or something, and the white silicone material nearly always makes for an excellent backdrop to whatever band you have on your watch. And it's just eye candy at times, man. All these band combinations you can make, you feel me? Is this accessory for everyone? Absolutely not. But if you do manage to pick it up, I think you'd be pleasantly surprised at just how simple the charger is and the convenience it offers. Any Apple Watch user should at least consider picking this up as it is such an elegant way to have your watch charge while also being protected. So long as you can get past the price tag, I think this is a great accessory to accompany your Apple Watch. Let me know what you guys think though. Apple has been known to heavily tax their accessories, but I think this accessory is totally worth it. It's an amazing design, it's compact, and it gets the job done. It's a fair asking price when you consider some of the stainless steel and titanium models nearly approach $1,000 depending on your band choice. So protecting that $1,000 Apple Watch for $79 isn't too terrible. As always guys, stay tuned for more videos covering the new Apple Watch Series 6 as well as the highly anticipated iPhone 12 line set to be released here real soon. I can't wait to catch you all in my next video. Peace.